Hi, we're going to be adding Goo Physics to a VRChat avatar that already has all the Goo material set up on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the existing materials that we have here and add the Goo Physics to them. There are three stages to this, and those are the uh, Fizzbone setup, the material setup, and the animation setup. Now they're all very simple, uh, and we can start with a little bit of material explanations here on the material uh, itself. Uh, so if we open up, open up any of the Goo materials here, we'll see that now there is a Fizzbone Physics tab over here. And if we open it up, there's a bunch of these Physics groups and these other tabs that we don't care about right now. But let's just focus on the Physics groups. What are these? Well, these are the areas of the mesh that are going to be influenced by a specific Fizzbone configuration. But what does that mean? Well, if we scroll down and go into the Value Factory Goo 1, um, prefabs folder over here, we'll see that we have these Goo physics groups prefabs. And if we drag one of these in to our avatar here, let's take that and drag it into our avatar. Make sure I have gizmos on right here. We'll see that it's this odd contraption that's made out of various fizzbone chains and contacts. And so this is the stuff that will make the physics work. And we need to place this on specific points of our avatars wherever we want the fist bones to be the most, wherever we want the physics to kind of be controlled and then tie that position to a specific group on the material. So for example, what if we want, it's a bit hard to understand, but, but like as an example, what if we want to make it so that when we move our right hand here, only the hand is going to have the physics. So like if we move our left hand, you know, that left hand is just going to have the static goo that's just kind of moving around and doing things. But if we move our right hand, then the right hand is going to exhibit the goo physics that we want, right? Well, how do we do that? Well, we do that by setting up a fizzbone group on that right hand. And so let's just go through and do that. So let's start with the fizzbone prefab here. Let's set up, let's set that up first. And the thing that we do here is we need to make sure to have it selected, and then we need to set up this posi position constraint over here. And the way we do that is we need to find the bone that we want to attach this to on our avatar. And in our case, if we want to attach this to our right hand, we're going to need to find a right hand bone somewhere, like maybe the wrist bone or some other bone that's going to be like right here or something, right? So I know on my avatar, it's going to be uh, this wrist R here. So if we drag that on, press zero, and then activate, it's going to be attached to our wrist here. And if we move the wrist around, of course, that's incredibly cursed. Uh, but as you can see, it's attached to the wrist there. Let me undo that. So that fist bone physics group thing is now going to follow that wrist. That's what we want. Now, that being attached, now what we're going to want to do is set up the group on the material that will n tell the material how to deform the mesh. It's kind of like weight painting in a way, but not as painful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my various body materials over here, except for the wings. We'll do those separately and enable physics group one over here. The, the numbers here on the prefabs need to correspond to the numbers here on the on the group. So we just placed physics group one, which means we need to set up physics group one on the material. So how do we do that? Uh, we could just enable it, first of all, and then we need to figure out how to mask it. So how do we do that? Well, we need to, to figure out how to mask it. There are two methods right now, and that's capsule and texture. The texture one, we just need to select it and then select the ma uh, the channel of the texture. And then we need to drag in a mask texture over here. This is useful if you want to have very fine grain control over the mask. You can paint this in substance or any kind of uh, image editing program like Krita or Photoshop if you have the UV layout. And then you just choose the channel that you want to sample from. And you're good. A value of zero means that there's going to be no weight to that vertex. And a value of one means that the vertex is going to be fully attached to that group and it's going to be moving. But we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be doing the capsule one because that's the simplest one. So let's select the capsule. Let's press edit capsule and then select our avatar. Uh, if if you're not seeing something like this after you select it, make sure you have the very root object of your avatar selected. Let's turn off gizmos for now so we can see this capsule. As you can see, I already have it set up. But uh, let me just leave it. Let's like reset the values completely. And then press edit capsule again and select our avatar. Now we have this weird 
thing here. We're not quite sure what it is. Well, what is this, right? Well, we need to now shape this capsule into the area that we want to be influenced by this fist bone group. So what that means is just, in our situation, that means we're just going to want to make sure this capsule encapsulates our right arm. So let's do that. Let's shape it down a bit and let's... We can rotate this around as much as we want. Undo works fine. What we're going to do is we're going to press X so that we our axis align it to the X axis, move it up, and then slide it along here, size it down a bit. And that's good. You can make these as big as you want, by the way. There's no like real performance impact to the size of them. So make them as big as you want. Doesn't matter. So this is kind of what we want. And now we can press finish. And now, and now all that's left to do for that specific thing to work is to set up the animations. But we're going to be doing that later. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be setting up the rest of these physics groups. If you're still a bit unsure of what's going on, I recommend you uh, watch through the rest of the setup and it will all make sense in the end. So now let's do a thing. So now what I would like to do for this avatar is to uh, have the physics, have the second physics group control the left arm, the third physics group to control the uh, body, so legs, torso, and head, as well as the wings, and then the fourth physics group to control the tail. So I'm going to set those up right now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag all the three physics groups into my avatar, and I'm going to enable gizmos, select the second physics group, and find my left wrist. Wrist L, drag it into the transform of the position constraint, press 0 and activate. Okay. And now I'm going to find the third fist bone group. Find the chest bone, 0, activate. Fourth fist bone group, find tail 04, that's like the halfway point in the tail, 0, activate. Okay, so now we have, oh actually, let's put that on 5. Yep, yeah, let's put that on 5, 0, activate. Okay, so... Now our fizzbone groups are all set up. Uh, fizzbone uh, prefab groups are all set up. So now we just need to set up the materials and we're going to just do the body first. So our fizzbone group one is set up and our physics, our second physics group is just going to be pretty much the first one, but mirrored. And the way we can do that is we know that right here, this axis that goes from le left to right is the X axis. We can tell that by right here. And so what that means is that we can just copy all the first bone values over here from, or copy all these physics group values from the first group, the second group. And then after we're done copying them, we can just negate the origin of the X here. And then edit capsule, and as you can see, we, we can see that this arm is now fully enclosed, and uh, this is for the second group, and then we, if we go take a look at the first group, we can see it's also fully enclosed. That's perfect, that's exactly what we want. And now, let's enable the third physics group, hit capsule, and tweak this a little bit so that our whole body is enclosed. And make sure to set up, oh, that's a, that's a bit uh, hard to look at. Let's tweak this a bit. Again, these capsules can be as big as you want. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I like that. So finish, so that's done. And then physics physics group four. I'm just going to zero this out because I know I edit this already. So select our avatar. Let's push that to Z now. No, oh, make sure to enable the physics group or else uh, you're not going to see this visualization. Size that down a bit. Move that. Oh, move that. I'm going to kind of put it on the tail there and rotate it just a bit. And rotate it down. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Push it in a bit. A bit more. All right, that looks good. Finish. Okay, so that's the body setup. Now for the wings. Uh, we, I only want the wing. I want the wings to move with the body here, and we have the whole body group configured to work with the third fist bone uh, prefab group. So we're going to enable the third group here, and then again, I've edited these. So let me just reset them. Edit the 
capsule, select uh, the avatar, and then just drag this out. We don't care. We just want all of the wings to be encapsulated here. We don't care about specific control here, so we could just make this as big as we want. There's no performance problems here. You're you're gonna be fine. Your VR chat's not gonna scream about the bounding box or anything like that. This is just a mathy thing, so you can make this as big as you want. Okay. That looks good. Okay, so now our physics groups are all set up. Next up is animator setup. So there's this button here called Open Animator Setup Wizard. Let's click on that. And we'll, it'll have these two tabs called uh, Clip Wizard and FX Layer Animation Animator Wizard. Uh, we need to go through both of these. Uh, and it's very simple. Uh, we just need to drag in our avatar into the Animation Clip Wizard. We need to figure out all of the um, renderers that are going to have goo materials on them. So in my case, uh, my avatar is going to have the body. So right here, the body is going to have uh, a skin mesh renderer that has goo material, so we're going to drag that in, press add, and you only need to press add if you have more than one, by the way. Um, and the uh, the wings that I have are also going to have a skin mesh renderer, so drag that in as well. And if you have a normal renderer, a uh, mesh renderer, you also need to drag that into here. And now we're going to press generate and save these somewhere. So I have a folder for these. I also recommend you make a folder for these. Um, let me just navigate there. And then, there we go. Animation clips have been generated, great. And as you can see, we have some animation clips here. Okay, great, now that's done. Effects layer animator wizard. Now let's drag in our effects layer animator. And if you don't know where this is, you can select your avatar, scroll down, go into playable layers and click on the FX layer here and it'll select it, you can drag that in. And if you don't have that, you can right click, create animator controller and just call that whatever you want. Drag that into your avatars here. So you need to press, if, if it's like this, you need to press default on transform, drag that in you'll, and you'll have an FX layer and then you need to drag this into the animator wizard over here. But I already have one, so I'm just gonna stick to the one I have. And now, uh, since we just generated our animation clips, uh, these fields are all filled out, but if they aren't, you're going to need to drag them in manually. So physics group one needs to have X1, Y1, Z1, etc. But now because these are all set up for us, we can just press generate, 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 and generate. And that's it. Let's go into play mode. Let's go into play mode and we, we already saw something happen. That's great. Uh, let's move our avatar around. Yes, you can clearly see it on the wings. You can most clearly see it on the wings. Oh, that's a bit too much. We're going to tweak those values. But, as you can see. And so now, if we go into VR chat, we'll see, and if we move our right arm, for example, we'll see that the goo on the right arm moves around, but not it doesn't move around the left arm, and nothing on the wings moves around, nothing on the tails moves around, etc. That's that's the grouping working there, right? If we move our left arm, only our left arm is going to have the goo physics on it. That's, again, the grouping. That's why we want to group things. So now, some of these values are a bit odd. I think the wings are reacting a bit too much, so what we can do is we can tweak some of these values. So let's go into wings, let's go into physics. physics. Let's take a look at these on-body and on-drip fields now. So, the on drip here is going to control how much the physics is, is going to influence the position of the drip. And on body is going to control how much the physics is going to influence the position of the goo of the body. Right, so if we want no drip at all on the wings, I'm just going to lock this so I can see it and move around. Then we set that to zero. And as you can see, the wings no longer have any of the drip moving along with the physics but if we have the body strength set to one now suddenly the the wings like kind of lag around a bit uh and we can add random noise influence here and so the wings kind of like lag behind in these weird ways and it, it looks a bit weird on the wings so what we're going to do is we're going to set the strength of the drip to two on the wings it's still a bit too strong i'll set that to one Okay, that's a better value. Now, I like the drip on the body, so we're going to keep that as it is, but I think I want to try... Let's unlock that. 
think I want to try to set the on body drip to like 0.5 or something and see what happens. As you can see, there's a slight lag now. There's a slight, very, 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 very slight lag. So let's also put this to 0.5 on the wings. Just why not? Let's move these around. And it's a bit hard to feel with a slight value, but there's a lag now. All right, kind of gives, ooh, that especially. That's a bit of a too, that's a bit strong, I think. But it, it now has this inertia to it almost. And you're going to need to tweak these values to get a specific look that you want. But you can make it so that um, the deformation mask uh, influences this. There's like random noise influence as well. Let's set this to 0.5 and add random noise influence as well. So it just it, it gives it a different kind of vibe. And tweak around, mess around with these values. You can find something that like really fits your avatar. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the on body to zero on all these. Wings, one drip, and then the body drip is going to be four. So, as you can see, it works. And I'm going uh, to say that I am happy with so that, do the and I'm going boots. to upload that. Um, the very simple example is, hey, I'm moving, moving my hand next. around. Right. I'm moving this hand around, and as you can see, it's kind of moving around, but this one isn't. Now, if I move this, this, this hand around, oh, whoops. If I move this hand around, you can see physics, and then we can move these separately. And they're going to have separate physics. That's the whole point of the groups, to have separate physics groups, right? And if I move side to side, you can, you're can you going to start to see a very subtle, very subtle movement in the drip, especially around my head, right? And then, of course, the wings will also follow the, that same motion. It's a bit harder to see on the wings, but if you focus on these parts here... It's the easiest. Yeah. And it's such a subtle thing, you don't... Like, if I turn this off suddenly, you'll notice that something is missing, and it'll be odd immediately. But with this, it's just so natural, right? And my tail is a bit hard to see with the giant fuck-off wings that I have, but... Oh, you can kind of see it. Ugh, it's hard. You get it. You get it, it works. A yeah, that's how you do it.